Hi everybody, I just wanted to show you real quick. I'm gonna make a phone case um, insert for my iPhone. I have this phone case from OtterBox. I will link to it in um, the description. And it is pretty awesome. It's clear, which I really like because you know, it shows off the color in the back, but it's the holiday season and so I wanted to do something fun. So it comes off super easy and it has a hard plastic backing. And actually you can get a, um, an insert from OtterBox. You know, I have this one, fits in perfectly. But what I did was I used this as a template and I just cut my own. So I just cut around super easy. And so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make a holiday one and let's get to it. I'm gonna be using two stamp sets on my phone case today. I'm going to use Neat and Tangled's new set, Bright Baubles. Love all those ornament shapes. And I'm also going to use Woodland Kisses by Clearly Besotted. Those animals are adorable. I'm gonna start with the Bright Baubles set and I'm going to stamp that tree uh, in some Hero Arts chalk ink. That tree actually fits this uh, insert perfectly. It was actually what determined uh, which set I was going to use for this. Now my hesitation here is because I just wanted to be sure that I had my blank in the right direction so that I wasn't stamping on the back side. And it's a perfect impression. I love the Hero Arts shadow inks and the chalk inks. They're wonderful. So I'm going to give you guys some music while I start to get the tree um, decorated and I'll be back shortly. For some extra shimmer and shine, I'm gonna go in with my clear Wink of Stella glitter marker. I think you can never go wrong with sparkle, so I had to add it, of course. This would also look really cool, I think, if you stamped using the Heidi Swap toner pen, some of those ornaments, and then ran it through your make machine. Some pretty foiled ornaments. And I also think this would work really well as a kid's craft if you are so inclined to let your kids go through your stamp stash, like I sometimes do. My daughter would get a real kick out of doing this. I'm going to stamp the little fawn from the Woodland Kisses stamp set with some My Favorite Things Black Hybrid ink which is a really good ink to use if you're gonna color with Copics. I stamped him twice just because I wanted to be sure if I messed up my Copic coloring, I had a spare ready to go. 
I'm going to continue coloring with the Copic markers and I will be back in just a few. So after I added a little bit of pink blush to his cheeks with my Copic, I'm going to go in with a white gel pen just to add a little bit of accents here and there. And then I'm going to pull out my Sakura uh, glaze pen just to add a little bit of dimension to his eye and his nose. And then on to the fussy cutting. Now fussy cutting is absolutely one of the things I hate actually about crafting. So I'm going to spare you the five to 10 minutes it actually takes me to cut him out. Here we go, skipping ahead. Now I just need to decide exactly where I want to put him underneath my tree. I'm just making sure I, I have the right placement for the sentiment I'm going to use in a second. It's going to kind of ground my little deer. I'm going to use the sentiment that's included in the Neat and Tangled set, and I'm just going to ink up the Merry and Bright portion of it. Uh, got to make sure that I don't have any ink where I don't want it. It's a lovely sentiment, but I didn't really think it was quite appropriate for the back of my phone case. So I'm just going to use the Merry and Bright, which actually goes nice with my sparkles, I think. And we're just going to get him glued on right above that word. Just a little bit of grounding. Look at that, he fits just perfect. I'm just going back in with my memento marker just to touch up a little bit. I had a couple spots that didn't ink up perfectly. You'll never know the difference though once you use the memento marker. So this is sped up exponentially, but I'm just using some tumbled glass Distress ink and an ink blender from Sukaneko. And just giving a little bit of blue to the edges so it looks like the sky. I kind of liked how nice and bright white the background was, so I don't want to do too much with it. But there you have it. And here we go. I'm going to show it to you on my case. It fits perfectly and it looks adorable. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up on YouTube, and I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel. Here's links to my Facebook, Instagram, and blog as well. Thanks so much. Have a great day.